dollars. Let me just start there. I lost two hundred dollars. Swing my way. Let me take you somewhere that I'm heading. Maybe you can play. Treat you like my hustle. You know I be on it all day. Shay Marie. If you guys are new, baby, welcome to the party. And if not, welcome back. Please make sure you guys are liking, commenting, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. I'm sitting outside of Dunkin' Donuts. I just wanted to bring you guys with me today. I am going to the casino with my grandmother. But before I do that, I'm like, let me just come check in with y'all. So your girl is officially 25 years old. I feel like I'm getting old, y'all. Y'all think I'm getting old? I feel like I'm getting old. I don't know. But yeah, I'm 25 years old. My birthday was September 8th. But let me just tell you. Let me just tell you. Because, like, my birthday was mad crazy. Like, I spent all day in the hospital the day of my birthday. I had woke up the, the morning of my birthday and my jaw had locked. So... I literally yawned. I wasn't doing nothing crazy. Like, I'm not on those type of drugs. Like, I wasn't out here wilding. Nothing ever happened to me. Like, for some reason, my jaw just locked. Like, and when it locked, it stayed like this for six hours, y'all. So, it locked at 8 o'clock in the morning. I got to the hospital at 9.30. And I ain't leave the hospital till about 3.30. And my jaw ended up unlocking on its own. It was mad crazy. I was mad scared. I was crying all damn day. Literally all day I was crying. Because I'm just like, what is going on? And how is this happening to me on my birthday? Like, come on. I was tight. I was mad tight. I was so scared. Like, it was really... I don't want to say it was the worst birthday. Because I was kind of upset. But then, like, my sisters took me out to dinner. So the dinner was nice. But I was still upset. Like, I didn't even get to take any pictures. I was eating slow with my mouth, like, closed. Because I was scared to open it so wide. The hospital ain't even do nothing for me. Like, literally. They had me waiting there for the specialist. Then they told me I had to go to another hospital. Because that's where the specialist was at. By the time, it was just so much going on. And they literally didn't do nothing. My mouth went back in place on its own. I went to the doctor the next day and pretty much they just referred me to um the orthopedic surgeon so that's pretty much it is what it is so yeah now i'm getting ready to go to the casino with my grandmother and i'm just hoping that i can win some money because i'm not going to work and we do need some money right but let me just say i never really win anything when i go to the casinos but Today might be my lucky day after all the troubles I've been through for my birthday, right? So, yeah, we just gonna head to the casino, then we're gonna go out to eat. I'm gonna just bring y'all with me throughout the day. Hopefully, I win something. Who knows? But even if I don't, I'm still just happy to be going somewhere with my grandmother, especially for my birthday, you know? So, yeah, um, tomorrow I got school. I feel like I'm gonna bring y'all with me to school. I don't know. Y'all do know this is my last semester. Let me tell y'all, because I made. I made Dean's List again. So this is my third time making Dean's List. So my school, y'all know it's an associate's. Um, I will be getting an associate's degree. So that was a total of five semesters. I know most associate's degrees, it's only four semesters. But my semesters are literally like bunched up into three and a half, four months. The normal semester would be like, I think like five months each like at a normal community college it'd be like five months each but being that I go to a private college and it's like specifically for my major I had to do five semesters and out of those five semesters three of them I have made Dean's List and I'm super excited about that because back when I was in high school back when I went to other colleges if you've been with me since the beginning of my channel then you know that I've been to three different colleges and this one finally fit me and I'm also finally graduating this year and I'm just very excited like I'm doing so many good things and if nobody is going to clap for me I'm clapping for myself because I'm really excited I've been through so much and on top of that I'm really making stuff happen on my own and just with my family like they really you know they really my family is really lit like but yeah y'all probably like why you got on this turtleneck long sleeve in the summer girl but I got this on just because um it is a belly shirt it's a belly shirt too so 
it do be getting cold in the casino and i ain't bring no sweater so i'm actually happy that i have this on but the thing is my nipples be getting extra hard and i don't got on no bra i really rarely wear a bra because my titties is mad little so i honestly don't need a bra but yeah people you know it's weird when i be recording and i'm in my car and stuff or like when i'm outside and i'm walking and i'm recording people be staring at me like i'm crazy When I buy my actual camera and have the actual stand, people really gonna be looking at me like I'm nuts. But um, let me let me tell y'all about my externship too, cause I started my externship the day before my birthday. So the day before my jaw locked, I started my externship. Um, I'm actually out of urgent care, and the shifts are for 12 hours, y'all. Like I really wasn't expecting that. I was hoping, being that it's my externship, I would probably do like maybe five hours a day, but no. It's 12 hours a day, and I go four hours a week. Like, they really ODing. But I actually like it. I learned a lot of good things. I've done um, COVID testing. I did um, strep throat testing. I did a urinalysis. And I did um, pretty much just looking for an ear infection because someone came in um, with an earache. But everything was mainly covid testing because every it, it is an urgent care and it is covid still going on so everybody is literally coming in coming in coming in just for covid testing which is fine with me because it's pretty simple it's pretty easy um that like i said that was my first day working there and we had over 60 patients and i was actually excited to be a part of something like that we actually did not do any um, vinny punctures, meaning we didn't draw any blood. No one came in for any blood work, which I was a little sad because I wanted to do some blood work. But that's okay because that'll come. Um, I have done vinny punctures in school on the actual students. It just, you know, I'm ready to step out there into the real world. But yeah, like I said, I'm pretty excited about it. I do want to record inside of the urgent care, but before we went to our externship they made us sign waivers basically saying that we won't be posting anything on social media so i'm gonna really just be like when i'm when i'm there i'll be talking to you guys like when i'm in the bathroom i won't really film anything in the inside especially being that this is still my externship and i don't want to violate anyone's privacy i don't want to violate any hipaa laws just in case anything is posted in the background but yeah everything was pretty much nice like i wore my scrubs i looked cute and I just had fun. So hopefully, I'm gonna try to change my hours though because y'all know I'm still dancing and my hours currently at the externship is Wednesday through Saturday. But I think I'm gonna try to change it to Sunday through Wednesday because I truly, I truly don't wanna work a 12 hour shift on the weekend and then have to get off and go to work. And those are the lit days I work. You know, Thursday through Saturday are the lit days I work. I'm not trying to be like mad tired. And the um, urgent care open up at eight o'clock, meaning that all of the workers need to be there by 7.50. If I get off of work at four in the morning, I, there's no way I'm gonna sleep. Like, I'm just not gonna do it. I'd rather, you know, work there Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And then Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, I'm off and I could actually you know, just worry about going to work. So I'm gonna speak to them when I go. I haven't, I was honestly supposed to work Tuesday. I took off that Wednesday for my birthday. So it was supposed to just be Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, but my jaw locked y'all. And then once it unlocked, it was in so much pain right here, like literally so much pain. And I just couldn't take it, like I just didn't go. So I got like a little doctor's note or whatever to bring to them and go back. Cause I'm gonna explain the situation to them just to let them know. But yeah, I'm about to pull up to my grandmother's house. I am in Brooklyn. And then when I get to the casino, y'all gonna see. Stay tuned. Please make sure you guys are liking, commenting, and subscribing. I still did not make it to the casino, y'all. My grandmother had me stop at all these different stores. And I think she want to stop at another store before we even go. It's been an hour and a half already at all of these stores. I don't mind, though. But I got to use the bathroom. I really got to use the bathroom.
at the casino and I've only played $60 so far and I lost everything but then I ended up I'm like okay let me just try it again and I played one more time something I was like $5 and I went back $96 so hopefully I have a good time today I don't know I'm a little scared I'm scared to lose money guys I am finally home and let me just tell y'all so it was a good I had a good time or whatever but but the freaking I lost $200 let me just start there I lost $200 I was definitely tight about that and um what happened I feel like I was just outside all day like I'm just so happy Ooh. I'm just so happy to be home because I really was outside all day. The scenery was nice. I ended up going out to eat. We went to the sugar, um, what is it? The sugar factory. It was pretty cool, but this was one of their new locations. Um, the only ones I've ever been to was the one downtown and the one in Manhattan. But this one was inside the casino. It was mad nice. They pretty much closed. If you if you from New York, you know what I'm talking about in the casino. They closed two of the restaurants in the casino. So if you're not going to eat at the sugar cake, the sugar cake. If you're not going to eat at the sugar factory, then that's it. I don't know what you want to eat. But yeah, overall, I had a good time. I always have a good time when I go with my grandmother. We be chopping it up. We be running our mouth. We be talking about everybody as we should. <laughs> But yeah, I'm about to um just hop in the shower and then get ready for tomorrow because I do got school. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. Please make sure you are liking this video. Make sure you comment on the video and make sure you subscribe. See you later.